Mary Beth, it was so nice of your parents to fly us all out here for your birthday. Oh, I love this lodge. It's so peaceful. Help! Bitch, ah! <laughs> you can't hide behind the girls! Wanna bet? Yeah, they're not gonna save you. Oh, yes, we are. <laughs> it's no sissy boys. Cover me. Ah! I got more ammo in the freezer. He's going for the lodge! Ah! many times do I have to tell you boys you shouldn't be throwing snowballs, huh? That's it. Give me 50 laps around the mountains. Hey, we're on vacation. You can't make us run laps. You're not the coach here. Yeah. We could even call you Bill. <laughs> not that we would coach for them. Coach, I'm glad you're here with us. My birthday wouldn't be the same without you. Thanks, Mary Beth. I'm glad, too. I've been ice fishing in these mountains since I was a kid. Hmm. Fishing for ice. What do you like to catch, crushed or cubed? <laughs> no, I'm up here trying to catch the legendary boss bass. Okay, now let's say you do catch him. How do you know he's the boss and not some boss bass wannabe? <laughs> oh man, I almost caught him years ago, but he slipped out of my hands. This time, I'm not quitting until he's stuffed and mounted on my wall. Oh, can we come fishing with you? I'll bring the tartar sauce. I'm sure you will. <laughs> All right, no problem. Let's go. I don't want to keep the boss waiting. Okay. Okay. Hey, Matthew, you gonna come? Oh, no, I'm going to stay here and work on some plans for my birthday party. But you guys go. Go, fish. <laughs> Hi, Mary Beth. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. You having a good time, honey? Oh, I'm having a great time. It's my birthday. I'm surrounded by all my favorite people, and my skin is perfectly clear. <laughs> So glad that you're happy. Oh, don't forget that the chef needs to talk to you about the menu for your party. I've narrowed it down to chicken Kiev, filet mignon, or Vince's choice, ding dongs. <laughs> oh, this is going to be the best birthday ever. She's really enjoying herself. I know, but I'm so worried about her. <sighs> Me too. I'm not looking forward to telling her we're getting divorced. Wow, Coach, I can't believe we're on top of a frozen lake. Yeah, this is really cool. Actually, it's freezing. <laughs> All right, come on, guys, listen up. Now, the key to fishing is the right lure. Behold, the bassinator. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think I once got one of those in a Happy Meal. If I were fish, I wouldn't eat that. Hey, this looks like one of Barbie's pom-poms. <laughs> All right, now give it back before something... Uh, <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll get it. Come on, guys, get serious. Now, before we drop our lines in, it's tradition to make a little fish wish. <laughs> Hey! Now, close your eyes and think fish. <laughs> Julie! Sorry. Ah! <laughs> There's a fish! No, no. It's no fish. That's the boss. <laughs> Mary Beth, there's something I have to tell you. Your parents are getting a divorce. Okay, that's what I'll tell her. Hey, Vince. Ah, Mary Beth, there's uh, something I have to tell you. <laughs> nice boots. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, don't you think this is a pretty clock? It would be a perfect thank you gift for my parents. Maybe. But, you know... What if you got them, too, just in case they're away from each other for a long period of time? What are you talking about? Well, you'll look cheap only buying one gift. <laughs> Don't be silly, Vince. I couldn't look cheap if I tried. How about this nice sterling silver frame? I could put in a nice family picture. Family pictures are way overrated. <laughs> I bet they don't have these. 
I bet you're right. They're ugly. <laughs> Why are you being so weird about what I buy my parents? Uh, well, I overheard them saying... What? They want to get a... What? What do they want to get? Uh, this vase. <laughs> they can't live without it. Really? Well, then I'll get this for them. Oh, thanks. You know, you should overhear things more often. <laughs> oh, no, I shouldn't. Hey, guys. How was ice fishing? Uh, oh, I didn't know it was going to be so cold. You mean the word ice didn't give it away? So, do we miss anything around here? Not really. Just that Mary Beth's parents are getting divorced. What? Really? Oh, no, that's awful. Does that mean we have to leave? <laughs> He's so insensitive. But, but really, do we have to leave? How do you know? I overheard them talking about it on the patio. Well, Mary Beth said her parents argued a lot, but everyone's parents fight. I do. Poor Mary Beth. True that. I wonder how she's taking it. Hey, guys. I'm looking for the scotch tape to wrap my parents' present. Have you seen it? No. No, no. no. You guys see the white one? must have left it in my room. Didn't tell her yet, did you? Well, I couldn't. Huh? Someone has got to tell her. But Julie's right. We can't walk around pretending we don't know anything. Silly me. I found the tape, but I forgot the scissors. You haven't seen them, have you? I haven't seen it. You guys seen it? Uh, nope. I, and we don't know nothing about nothing. <laughs> Vince, you gotta tell her. Yeah. We're no good at pretending. Look, I think if anyone's gonna tell Mary Beth that her parents are getting divorced, it should be Mary Beth's parents. What do you mean my parents are getting divorced? Today. Great! Vince and I are just waiting for my parents to join us for breakfast. Are you gonna ask them about the, you know, divorce? Ugh, there's no divorce. Vince hears things wrong all the time. Not true. My hearing is 2020. <laughs> well, I hope it's just one big misunderstanding. I'm gonna ask them about it just so Vince can hear for himself that it's not true. Then maybe he can relax so we can all enjoy my birthday party. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Yeah, well, don't count on Coach making unless he bags that bass. <laughs> he wouldn't leave that shack for a date with Tyra Banks. <laughs> he would if she was holding that bass. That's so pathetic. A grown man sitting there hour after hour on a block of ice trying to catch a dumb fish. <laughs> you want to go watch? I'm yeah. there. Let's go. <laughs> what is taking my parents so long? They're way past fashionably late. I'm a little nervous about being here when you asked them about the divorce. What if things get ugly? I'll end up getting blamed. I know it. Once I'll ask them, you'll hear for yourself that you were wrong. They're not getting divorced. Okay. Just don't tell them I told you. Don't worry. I'll start with a little small talk, then ease into the conversation. Your name won't even come up. Hi, kids. Are you two getting a divorce? Uh, who told you that? Vince. <laughs> Oh, sweetheart, we didn't want you to find out this way. Me neither. So it's true? I'm sorry, honey. We wanted to wait till we got home. What? We didn't want to ruin your birthday. Forget ruining my birthday. You're ruining my life. Honey, I promise you we've done everything we could to make things work. So does that mean you have to split up? It's going to be hard, but we agreed it's the best thing for all of us. <sighs> You finally agree on something and it has to be divorce? What about me? We're still a family. A family stays together. It'll be okay. We're gonna get through this. Uh, I need a minute. Excuse me. I need a minute, too. <laughs> Okay. I'm fine. You know, I don't
don't think they really want to go through with this. They don't? No, no, they're just having a few problems. Hmm. All they need is to be reminded how much they love each other. Fishy, fishy. I stay in that cold lake when you can have a warm spot above my fireplace. <laughs> it's him! It's him! Get him! Nobody ever said he'd be an easy catch! Oh! 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 All right, coach, you did it! Danny, it's a baseball glove. Yeah, but look, it's signed by Mike Piazza! Oh, too bad, coach. Oh, we know how much catching this bass means to you. Oh, don't worry, he'll come back. Yeah, with a hook in his lips. <laughs> He's back! You are not gonna let him get away with that, are you? I've had it with this fish! <laughs> oh, oh, coach is losing it! Try to get the fish from the very end! Is this shit to do something? Go! <laughs> This is perfect, Vince. When my parents see this, it'll remind them of their honeymoon in Mexico. It'll bring back loving memories and keep them together. How am I supposed to bring back loving memories dressed like a piñata? You look fine, but you can lose the mustache. I'd like to. It's glued on. Quick, here they come. Get everyone ready. See. Si. Hola, señor y señora Pepperton. What's all this for? Oh, just a nice dinner for two to thank the best parents in the world for being the best parents in the world. Uh, Mary Beth. Now, just sit and enjoy. Senora? Una Rosa for la senora? Oh, no, thank you. Well, don't worry, it's free. Oh, but I don't want it. Well, take it anyway. <laughs> now, give Mama Rose just like you did on your honeymoon. See, that wasn't so hard. Buenas noches. May I present our passion fruit margarita for two? We call it El Bebido de Amor, the drink of love. <laughs> it was the same drink you shared on your honeymoon not so long ago. Oh, honey, that was over 20 years ago. Well, time flies when you're in love. But why talk about love when we can sing about it? <whistles> Appreciate this, guys, but could you give us a minute? We try. Okay, they don't know. I'm sorry. It's no good. Mary Beth, we know why you're doing all this. Is it working? I'm sorry, honey. Can't you keep trying? If you love me, you'll keep trying. Honey, you have to accept the fact that we're getting divorced. But a 20 year old, slimy, smelly, spineless, no talent, ugly fish. You know what, fish? I saw your mama the other day on white toast with lettuce and tomato. What you got to say about that? Pump! Are you trash talking to fish? Yeah, yeah, you want some of this too? Look on Sam! Oh, oh! Wait. Can't let him get away! Coach, you got the best. Oh, he lasted 20 years in that lake. And now you can stuff him and mount him on your wall. All right. I got you. He sure is a beauty. Wait a minute. What am I doing? Hey, what did you do that for? What are you doing? 
Because he belongs in there. Besides, if he's hanging on my wall, who am I going to chase around next year? <laughs> I had a great time. Let's go, guys. <laughs> hey, Mr. Fish. I'll see you again. And next time, I might not be so nice. Where's Mary Beth? Is she coming? She said she was. Hope she didn't change her mind. Well, maybe we should check and see if she's all right. I mean, she's pretty upset about her parents breaking up. Oh. Mary Beth, you okay? I'm fine. This is a party. Let's have fun. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Everything looks beautiful. And so do you. So we hope we didn't ruin your birthday. Don't worry about it. Other kids' parents get divorced and they're okay. I'll be okay, too. Happy, Happy birthday! birthday! Oh. oh, I just... I want to thank everyone for being here to share my birthday. You all mean so much to me. I'm lucky to have such great parents. And terrific friends. <laughs> Mary Beth sandwich. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Come here, girl. You <laughs> blow out your candles. And uh, don't forget to make a wish. Hey, hey, and while you're at it, could you wish for me a big screen TV? <laughs> now, do you want picture in picture? Oh, no, I don't want to be too pushy. I mean, it is her wish. That's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> I want a big piece. Yeah, I want yeah, the yeah, big yeah, Mary yeah. and Mary Beth right there. Yeah. Perfect. Is that chocolate? Three left, no less. Mary Beth? You're gonna freeze out here. You okay? I don't get it, Vince. How could two people who've been married for so long just decide they're not in love anymore? I don't know, Mary Beth. I've never been married. <laughs> when they get divorced, what's going to happen to me? Who am I supposed to live with, my mom or my dad? I mean, how could I ever decide? Maybe you can live with both. Look on the bright side. You'll have more closet space. <laughs> What if I have to go to a different school? We might not be able to see each other. What am I going to do? There's nothing you can do right now. Some birthday present, huh? Happy birthday, Mary Beth. You're 17 and you're alone. Just because your parents are splitting up doesn't mean you're alone. They still love you. Then why are they doing this? Because they're not happy together. You want them to be happy, don't you? Well, yeah, but I also want my family to be together. It, it doesn't make any sense. Look, I wish I had all the answers, but I don't. But no matter how tough things get, I want you to know that I'm here for you. I love you, Mary Beth. Thanks, Vince. I love you, too. Would you just hold me?